um, update at Green Acres. As you can see, I don't know if last week it was all painted, but this week it's looking really finished. So it's looking like a house um, a lot more. So yeah, really pleased with the colour. I was kind of hoping and praying that it was the right colour because, you know, sometimes you're not 100% sure, but yeah, it's, it looks really good. I'm really pleased. Um, if you come into here, you can see sort of some of the bathrooms are starting to take shape. So you see that none of the toilets are put on yet because the toilets can't be put on until we choose the LVT flooring that goes onto it because LVT flooring can't be cut around toilets or it can but it looks really messy. So we're here today to try and pick a colour for the flooring and then the LVT flooring will go all through the hallway, all on suites and the kitchen living room area. Um, so LVT is like a really great uh, material. It's waterproof, it's hard wearing. Um, if you get if any of it gets damaged you can just take off that one piece rather than having to take off the whole floor so it's much better than laminate flooring it's much better than normal vinyl flooring um so yeah that it's just it's a great product that we've come across that we just use it's a little bit more expensive to fit uh but i really think it's worthwhile so so yeah that's really good then we're going to come into the living room sorry the kitchen dining living area which again is really starting to take shape all the kitchen's gone in. Now we're going to have a table, it's either going to go here or it can go over there. I'm, not, I'm a bit undecided, it can go in either place really, there's enough space in, in both areas for it, so it's wherever it's going to look better really. Um, and then over here will be a nice big sofa area with a TV, and probably a, dining a coffee table or something. Um, so yeah, it's a one room, multi-purpose communal area. And then I think you've already seen this before, but obviously all the, all the utilities and whatnot are under there, so kept away. New fence. Oh yeah, new fence. Garden's been uh, landscaped. Well, he's just had stuff taken away, right? not yeah. done an awful lot else to it, but it looks so much better now. So this is the bedroom that was the kitchen in the original house. Now, in here is a really great shower. However, we have a little problem in that the screen that we bought, because to try and find out information of what size screen for a walk-in shower you should get, it was impossible to find out any information. So I looked on one of the websites and they had a 1400 shower tray and a 1000 um, screen that's how they were selling it as a package so i thought okay well that must be okay then but it is i'd say it's it's probably an all right width so long as you're not seriously overweight but when we've got this i'm undecided as to whether we actually change it for a 10 centimeter smaller oh, i don't know let me try now because i've always had my coat on i think surely i'm always a test it's pretty tight i, I don't know i sort of think leave it that's all right. Because remember, people should be naked going into it. So you're not. If I can get through there, and my big tummy, it's a little bit tight. Is it worth trying to change it? The question is, look how wobbly that is. Don't it's got something to go on top. Oh really? I was about yeah. to say. Because what if someone catches it? Because no. it's quite tight. That's why it says do not lean. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. I feel like I don't know. That is kind of enough space, but it is bloody tight. Um, but it's massive in this, feels really good, like this is the best shower we've ever done. Um, so luxurious. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I'm not sure at the moment, I'm going to have to make a decision. Um, I'll add that to the list of decisions that I have to make. <laughs> Look at this, bring you in with me. Nice big overhead shower, beautiful tiles. Did this in, um, it's the same tiles as Chicha's stuff. Because they're good, they're just amazing. Yeah. Right. We didn't show the other bedroom downstairs. Okay, so back into the hallway. Here is where the water tank and the boiler and everything to do with the water is in this cupboard, um, which is out of the way. Um, and we can close the door and not see it because it's ugly. 
Um, and here, we're going to have a nice area to put shoes and coats and everything here. So everything's, again, kept neat and tidy. The tumble dryer is probably going to go there. And I probably need to think about putting some sort of boxing around it so it's not just a random appliance there. But I'm a bit undecided at the moment what to do there. Um, and then this is what was the garage. So I think this is going to be like a really nice... I think it's quite a cosy room because because you've got the drop ceiling, but it's only part of it. I feel like it makes it quite cosy. So we're gonna have like a bed and test the desk and um, chest of drawers and whatnot. So and as you can see, it's bathroom. Although it's off suite, I mean it's like a, sh a really short walk away. Um, we always try in these houses to have one bathroom that is off suite, so that should any of the other um, bathrooms, you know, should there be a problem, a toilet gets blocked or, or whatever, there is actually one that everyone can access and um, there. Do we go upstairs? So yes, there's not much to say up here other than things are getting finished and the wall is on, the colour is on the walls. It's looking really good. It's really hot up here so I think all the radiators are being tested and they're certainly doing their job. So we've got really big windows in all of the bedrooms, it makes them all really nice and light. So this is probably the smallest bedroom. Um, it is what it is really, but it's still a nice, it's still a nice bedroom. And it's obviously got its own suite with a really big shower behind. I think the good thing with this property as well is that apart from the downstairs rooms, everyone's bedroom is away from each other, so no one backs onto each other. So in terms of tenants being loud or you know having a TV on or anything like that, actually everyone's separated, so there should be minimal kind of noise disruption between the tenants. Um, so yeah, this this is the one where we have put in one of these really cool radiators basically because there was nowhere to put a radiator in here when we were trying to put all the components in and so it left only this space for the radiator so we ended up getting a really tall one, skinny, it's a double radiator so it should pump out a lot of heat um, and yeah I just think it's really cool really. So that's its own suite. the carpet is the following is the Monday after so by the next update we should have at least some flooring if not all the flooring down and it will start looking really like a house at that point so yeah join in join us next well time. let's go pick the carpet bring the show oh, okay well, we we're showing aren't we the carpet now with you and the flooring and that right so when we're picking the flooring one of the things that I've really got to bear in mind because the flooring the LVT flooring is going to go in the hallway the kitchen and all of the ensuite so it can be one continuous piece downstairs um, and obviously it's going to be the same with the pieces upstairs. But because we've picked these wood, wood effect tiles, I have to be careful to match the flooring to those wood because they're both wood. So what I've done here, I've just put this up against this. Now, I think tonally this works better than this because this is a little bit yellowy, ever so slightly, whereas this isn't. Um, 
so in terms of it's always quite good to do like a dark floor and then the lighter walls and things because then it's, it's you don't want it all too light so I think we're going to go for this but then we'll have to go and check that it goes with the kitchen because obviously all of this is going to be one continuous piece So this is the the worktop if you can see here. It's always a bit difficult to see this, but whoops. Up. Again, I mean there's a bit of shadow involved here, but again I think that the darker one goes better because that's almost too similar and it competes with it. So I think we're gonna go for this one um, throughout. So it's gonna go all of this section and we we were contemplating putting this section which is going to be more the um sofa area whether we put this as carpet and kind of have a natural dividing line here but i think it's going to look a bit weird so we're going to go for lvt throughout and then lvt is just easy to clean if anyone spills anything they can you know wipe it up and it's not damaged so i think it's probably the best the best choice to go for now um the carpet so i don't know if you remember but we said here that when we bought the place the vendor had done like a really light refurb. She put this cheap kitchen in, but it was new. Uh, she put a new bathroom suite, I think, upstairs, and she put new carpets everywhere. So they're brand new carpets. They'd never been lived in. Um, so we sort of thought, well, we'll try and keep them. However, I don't think that they're going to go. So if you look, this is part of the carpet. This is the carpet that's been kept up, rolled up here. And it's quite a brownie beige colour as opposed to a yellowy beige red colour. looks red to me well, yeah brown has got red in it so i don't think that that really goes with this wall colour um and i don't think it goes with this this that we've chosen here we see that the the red in there jars with the ash in here so they don't go together so when i spoke to the client the other day um, he basically said for me to make the decision whether it's worth keeping this carpet or whether it's worth putting in brand new carpet that goes with what we've designed um, and he's happy to go with new carpet if that's the decision that we make which I was really hoping that it would now that the wall colours on the walls that this carpet colour would go because I kind of chose it to be neutral enough to go with this carpet but it's too warm and obviously you know the trend is to be grey and all that kind of stuff so unfortunately I don't think it works so we're going to have to change carpets so now I have to pick carpet colours which I don't have with me I'm going to have to go to the shop and pick up a sample and then um, come back but yeah so I think that's decision made we pick the LVT flooring which can come in on Friday and sorry Thursday and Friday this week and we'll pick carpet colours to then come in on the Monday after so yeah that's the update here at Greenacres see you next week Thank you.